This is Ambazar's DIY and other stuff. My name is Amber Meeks. Today is Fix It Friday, and I'm going to work on, what do you want to call those? It's like an overall skirt, dress? I don't know. Anyways, it is so super cute. I got it at Gabe's. I think I paid maybe two bucks for it or something like that. It was super inexpensive, but it's an XXL. So I'm not an XXL, so I need to make it in a size that will fit me. And we're going to do this no so, <laughs> so that I can show you guys some other ways that you can take things in or make them fit you if they're too big. So without further ado, let's do this thing. Okay, guys, so I want to start by showing you what these bib overall dress thingamabobber looks like before I start working on it. So it is a double XL in juniors, so it is just, you know, a little bit too big for me. So we're going to go ahead and have to take in the sides of this so that it fits, you know, uh, kind of sort of the way that it's supposed to. <laughs> Do you love my son in the background? That's so awesome. Great. Okay, let's go ahead and start by showing you how I'm going to take it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pinch both of the sides here. I'm going to take some straight pins and then I'm just going to pin where I think it should be on my body. So I did that with the one side. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab this other side and pin it into place as well. Now guys, I'm not going to lie. It is hard to pin things on yourself. It is so much better if you have a dress form or something like that, that is your size, but a lot of people don't have those kinds of things, so I'm just going to show you how to do this um, by pinning it on your body. Now, you only have to put a couple of pins on each side and then just make sure that you're able to get it off <laughs> once you've done that. So I'm pretty good here. Let's move on. Okay, so I want to show you the materials we're going to be using here. So obviously, if we have the dress, we're going to be using some zippers, some straight pins. I have the fray check, but we might, I don't think I use that. And then there's scissors and safety pins. So those are the supplies for this DIY. So now you can see where I marked it on both sides. So what I want to do now is just make sure that it's the same distance on both sides, because a lot of time that's like, you know, not the case. So I'm going to go ahead and compare the two. And as you can see, it is off just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the one pin that is furthest out to meet the, the other pin. Does that make sense? I sure hope so. But you guys can see what I'm doing nonetheless. So I'm just going to make it so that both of the pins are even. As you can see, they, well, it fell down, but they're even. Trust me, it's, it, they're even. Okay. <laughs> oh my, this is already a train wreck. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and I'm just going to cut open both of these sides. Now, normally I seam rip out the sides, but I have so much additional fabric to work with here that is not necessary. So all I'm going to do is just cut off the um, seam part. So I cut the one side off and then I'm just going to cut the other off just to take the seam part out. I like to leave as much fabric as I can onto what I'm working on just in case I mess up because you know that happens a lot so many ways I've cut both of the side seams off so now I'm just going to um line them up the best way that I possibly can so as you can see it's off everything is always off every single time I cut it even when I try to even it it's off but you know what as long as it's close enough it, it works you know whatever so I've evened out this side and what I want to show you on the other side is I'm going to even this part out right here that is clearly off but then I have to flip it to the other side of this same side does that make sense sure hope so but I'm going to just flip it over right here and as you can see it's off right there too so I'm just going to go ahead and cut that part off as well okay now we're ready to add the zipper in so I'm going to start by pinning the very top of the zipper in place but what I wanted to also let you guys know is that this zipper has like a flower pattern on it and that is what I'm going to use as my guidance as I'm putting the safety pins into place so I'm just folding this and trying to find the right place where I need to put the uh, zipper to attach it into place so now I'm taking these tiny little safety pins from my little safety pin kit here and I'm going to add one of those in place. Now guys, this is a lot easier if you don't have nails. I'm just going to stress that you're going to see me struggle a little bit throughout this video and it's just because my nails are a little long for crafting like this. So anyways, I'm putting the safety pin in place to attach the zipper right at the very top there. So once I have that in place and I'm pretty happy with it, we're gonna go ahead and kind of straighten out the zipper to the best of my ability. So I wanna make sure the edge of the zipper is right where that straight pin is. So that's what I'm trying to do here is just line everything up to where the straight pin is. Once I kind of see where it is, I'm gonna pull that straight pin out because obviously it's just going to be in my way. 
So now that I kind of see where the zipper needs to be, I'm going to straighten it out to the best of my ability. Now you guys could take a ruler here and draw on your fabric with like a fabric pencil or something like that if you want it to be super straight. As you guys know, I just eyeball everything and hope for the best. So now that I have everything kind of sorted in place, what I need to do because the zipper is a little bit longer than the dress, I'm going to need to fold it under at the very end here. So I'm just kind of putting everything into place where it's going to be. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pin it with the straight pins just to kind of keep it in place so as you can see when I pin it this first time I totally don't pin it to the dress which is awesome so I do that again <laughs> a second time and I decide to pin it a different way so that it stays in place then I'm just gonna add one more straight pin to like the middle of this just so that everything stays where I want it to as I'm working on this piece Okay, so now we're ready to start adding these tiny little safety pins into place. Now you guys could use bigger safety pins, but I just think this looks way more cool with these smaller ones, so that's why I went that route. So as you can see, I'm just trying to get to the center of that flower pattern right there. And then when I go through to the other side, see I'm on the other side here, I'm gonna wanna put it back through in the center of the next flower. So yeah, it's a little tedious, guys, but it's so worth it because you get the exact spacing that you want. Um, by using that center of the flower as your guidance. Now, if your zipper does not have a pattern like this on it, then you could just draw dots with a ruler, spacing it out to where you want your safety pins to be, whatever makes the most sense. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. So the last thing I need to do is fold this excess part underneath. Guys, I don't know why, but I struggled with this so much. So the idea is to take the safety pin and put it through this front part right, right at the top here. And then as soon as I get to the back part, I wanna make sure that I put it through the back part as well. I don't know why, but I could not make this work. I struggled with this for a really long time. So you're gonna see me speed this up so that you don't have to sit through everything that I did when I was working on it. But the reason why I wanted to include this part is because anytime you're working on projects, guys, things don't always work out the way that you want them to. So you just need to continue to work on it, try to figure out what works. You can walk away as many times as you need to until you can figure this out. So finally, I got it to work the way that I wanted it to, but it just took me a little while to get there and I have no, no idea why because this is really super easy, guys. I just don't know why I was making it so hard. So there we go. This is what I wanted it to look like. So it's tacked through both of the sides, keeping that into place. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more to the very bottom of this. And then this part, uh, well, this side is uh, completely done. Now I obviously have to tack the other side into place and we're going to use the exact same process that I'd used when I did this side here. So everything's looking pretty good. But what I wanted to show you here is that I did go ahead and um, decide to pin down the excess with some straight pins because it was hard to work the, the, that other other side with all of that excess fabric in place but I was afraid to cut it off because I want to make sure that this fits me the way that I need it to before I start cutting any fabric away okay so this is what it looks like when I finished that side completely and I have to go ahead and do that you know whole thing with that bottom part we'll get to that later what I wanted to show you is that this is a functional zipper guys look it will zip and unzip just like any other zipper that you have this is so awesome and you didn't need to sew it now granted this takes a little bit of time but just run some YouTube videos you know whatever anyways I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side and this is what it looks like so far so this is the one side and here's the other side completed with all of those safety pins in place. So um, after I finished trying it on and made sure that everything fit the way that I needed it to, I'm going to go ahead and take out all of these safety pins and you're going to want to cut this excess fabric off. But before I did that, I went ahead and threw it in the washer and dryer to let all the fraying happen that fraying that is going to happen happen and then I added some fray check good to go this is finally completed yes it did take some time but it is totally worth it so let's see how this bad boy turned out
I was kind of torn at first whether or not I should use the denim buttons on this DIY or if I should use the safety pins. And the reason why I went with the safety pins is because the denim buttons are very expensive and uh, I would have needed to use a lot of them. So it would have been a super, super pricey fix as opposed to using the safety pins where most people have safety pins or could easily grab some at literally any store in the United States. So I decided to go that route because I wanted to show you guys a fix that most people would most likely do. Now, I know a lot of people don't think of safety fit safety pins as like a decorative kind of thing. But honestly, guys, did you see that awesome safety pin shirt that Gabriella Union wore? I can't remember if it was X Factor or American Idol, whatever show it was. I was obsessed with that shirt. And I actually started working on one for myself, but I never finished it. And you know, I wear stuff that's out of style all the time. Let's just get that out there. I really don't care if I like it, I wear it. So I'm probably going to have that as a DIY coming up pretty soon because I was obsessed with that shirt. So I did start working on one for myself, but just never finished the DIY. So that'll be something that I will finish up for you guys. And those of you interested in wearing safety pin stuff will like that DIY. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I got for you in this video. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye. What's up, gorgeous people? This is Amazon's DIY and other stuff. I think it's the ring. It's like throwing me off. I mean, I like it, but should I wear it? I don't know. Let's try again. What's up, gorgeous people? This is Amazon's DIY and other stuff. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Not from that. I was just running up and down my stairs. Okay, catch your breath and then film it. All right, let's try again. But guys, did you see the safety pin shirt that Gabriella Union wore um, on American Idol? Hello? Awesome. I'm just saying. Was it American Idol? I don't know. I I'll, yeah, hold on. <laughs>